sorry. Okay, um, so I first started thinking about making shoes. I was in Phipps Plaza in Atlanta, and I went into a shoe store. I had about an hour to kill. Jeffries, it's still there. And they sell really high-end shoes, and I saw a pair of Alexander Wang boots, and they were $900. And I was working in a wood shop in New Orleans at the time, and I was like, I bet I could make these. And so then I spent about four years trying to figure out how to do that. I learned woodworking from a really young age. My dad is a woodworker, not by profession, but um, he has a, a wood shop in the basement that I started working in when I was maybe seven. So I always had an appreciation for making stuff. I always enjoyed it. With shoemaking, Probably the thing that I enjoy the most of it is getting better at it. It's really rewarding to learn a craft and then every day what you do hopefully is better than what you did the day before. I heard somebody say once that you spend half your life in your shoes and your mattress, so invest well in both. And I think that it's really true. I had not ever worn a pair of really good shoes until I started making them. So it's sort of comfort difference that you get from a well-made leather pair of shoes. So right off the bat, the health of good shoes is so important. And then also the way that they're made and the materials that we use are really good. We don't skimp on anything. Everything in the shoe, with the exception of the steel shank and the cork insole, is leather. There's no sort of plastic or rubber. So it's really good materials, it's good construction, and it makes for a really good, healthy shoe. My name is Sarah Green and I'm the owner of Cord Shoes and Boots.